Hello YouTube fans, it's Star Trek fans out there, it's a review from Star Trek 99. Now today, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to do something that I got for my birthday ages ago, but only recently started to think about doing a review on it, with the time I've had and everything. So, here it is. It is one of the various pieces to get in the whole of our country now, and that is the Art Asylum's Enterprise D. Now, this ship is a fabulous one. It's well, I say art sign. It's down a select because I can't find art sign anywhere on the ship. Um, it was bought bought on eBay for me for my birthday. Uh, I haven't got the box. The stand on it isn't the proper stand. Here is the big stand, but unfortunately, as you can see, the top bit is missing. I have that, I did send that with it, but really I've glued it and it, the ship fell off, thank god it had no damage, but uh, there you go, but it is on a stand at the moment, uh, a small one which is for the saucer which is meant to go here, so only not the saucer, the star drive, and that one's meant to go for the, this one's for the saucer. Um, as you know about the Enterprise D, it's Galaxy class vessel. It was Captain Jean Luc Picard's for the start of the next generation to Star Trek Generations when the Enterprise was destroyed by a Klingon bird of prey. Well, she won, but it was after this, afterwards, so afterwards sort of thing. It's something went wrong with the. I think it was something blue when Joy was looking in the system. Something, something blue. I can't remember what it's called now, but something like blue and. Like it was a cool little leak, and the only star drive was like doomed. So they sorted it. Sorted got caught in the um, got caught in the like shift, like the wave, and lost the like the impulse engine at the back. They went down, and the ship just went to the planet. The ship was unsalvageable, so the Farragut and three other starships, which was No Birth and the Miranda class, came and rescued the Enterprise D survivors. No casualties, so no cough. Not too bad. Um onto the ship now. Okay. I'm gonna put the lights on at the back I think. Now I'm gonna sh show you here. To activate the lights on this ship, you have this little like grill bit here which you have to push in. Once you pushed it in, oh my god. Um, pushed it in, it, the lights will stay on. I also weren't pushing enough with force. But yeah, when it's on, it is on. And the ship will stay like that. Now, unfortunately, you probably can't see it very well now because the lights are on. Well, they are quite bright. But you know, your buzz art collectors, they light up. Your deflector lights up. Your. Um. The cells they light up. Your impulse engines light up. Your main impulse engine and your source of impulse engines. And your bridge lights up. Uh, now, this one, next to the Playmates one, is by all the mighty vessel. Because this is the Playmates one. Well, Let's take this one out see for a sec. This one is the Playmates one. And this one is good was good for its time, but now this one by all means all means rules now. Um I've seen a lot of people actually try and get rid of these to get this one, this Enterprise D. But I like them both because they look nice next to each other. This one only has um Four sound effects, you do hear a pod there, ladies and gentlemen. Has four sound effects, doesn't source or separate, doesn't all like light, light up between the cells, but it's good to have around, it's nice. Um It's nice to have around because it's like a cool ship. Um You can see on the actual ship itself that is there is a lot of detail on it. The um a lot of things that I think was quite bad that Art Sound, I mean Dark Sound, Downside did. There's no windows 
on the neck of a star drive. Why, we don't know. Uh, well, they forgot, but we all know the neck of the Enterprise has windows. Even the Playmates got that right. And the Playmates got the window thing right. Try and get it in there. Playmates got that right with windows on. Um, but other than that biggish defect, the ship is quite nice. The um, it says the registration on it. That's the torpedo bays. I'm going to turn the lights off for a sec. It says the registration inside the torpedo bays. There, it says Enterprise. Um, uh, there's the Enterprise on it. Uh, I'm going to put this down if I can. I'm not going to topple over. But you can see the registry. Um, Enterprise, US Enterprise, NCC 1701D. The um, shuttle bay is a battery pack for the Star Drive, for Star Drive? Um, Saucer. Um, bridge, you push that down, it makes the sound effects. Um, unfortunately, in my one, you cannot see the phaser strip, but it, it is raised. In a way, you can just see that there it is raised to phaser strips, and but it's not just one like blank greyish line all the way around. It is detailed. You know, like a line goes through it, sort of thing. It's got like, the little bits come off, like little sections in between them, sort of thing. But it's a very nice looking ship to have. Um, on this one, you do have a lot of the plugs that are plugged in here, here, um, here, not here. Um, here and um, here and here. That is because this they use the same mold for the Enterprise D from all good things. I mean, the say this one is used for all good things, Enterprise D. So there's a lot of plugs and bits in it, but this one is a nice ship to have next to the one. You can get the that's it, other things like I said. It's a nice one to have. It does saucer, but I don't see how it should it can saucer when on the show the big gun was actually connected to the main saucer. I mean saucer. Um, I'm, I'm forgetting things lately. All these ships. Um, the main gun which could pierce enemy shields just one blast. Is connected to the star drive's neck, so I don't know how that is possible for that to actually happen, but it happened. It sort of separates the. I'm gonna just go ahead and do the main gimmick for the thing now, but it's um, separating. Oh, oh, that's odd. <laughs> why, why not do it then? I was reconnecting now. Well, um, bad news, ladies and gentlemen. The um, <laughs> saucer, oh, saucer today is a bit broken. <laughs> the batteries have gone in the saucer, so I'm gonna have to just keep connected most of the time. But I'm gonna show the star drive at the moment. Um, star drive. It's exactly the same as it is on the show. They've um, put the registry, the phaser strip here, the registry ncc 71 d Can't see it properly. And so ncc 71 d Enterprise there. You have the battle bridge there. Um, emergency escape pods here, here, and here. Um, I'm going to stop this video now because I've never gone past the time. We'll stop it now. So. Yep.